Okay, so in the previous discussion we talked about what an expected value is. It's a type of averaging. And then we can get this from a probability distribution table. So let's put this to use with an example. Um, let's use our couple that's going to have five kids. So let's say that there's an individual. She's going to have five kids. Probability of a girl. 0.52 and so the question is um, if we were to go to a household where there are five kids go to another household where there are five kids um, go to another household where there are five kids and repeat this Let's say that we do this 100 times. Maybe in the first household, you might find that there are three girls, one girl, um, two girls, two girls, three, 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 and so forth, continuing on out. Whatever that number is out of 100, um, the math that we're going to look at suggests that it's going to be, on average, whatever that number is out of one half, uh, out of one hundred, um, it'll do. It'll be something like this, so that you would expect an average of two point six girls in each of those households um, where there are five kids. So what's the math that gets us there? Like this right here, this average value is the expected value of girls. We'd expect to, you know, we'd, we'd look to see and, and on average as we go and visit each one of those, those homes. Um, so the way that we get this expected value for this random um, event, right? It's still a random event. You have five kids, but in those five kids, um, you're going to have either zero, one, two, three, four, or five girls, and each one of those numbers has a certain probability of occurring in the binomial probability distribution function that we just looked at earlier will um, tell us what that is. Yeah, it tells you exactly what the probability is for having exactly two girls out of five or having exactly three girls out of five or having exactly four and so forth. So we've seen how to do that in previous discussions. So that was our probability distribution table and don't forget the summation of all of those will always add up to 100%. In order for us to get the expected value, or the average number of girls in each household, so the expected value of a random event is the 0 times the point zero two five, the 1 times the point one three eight, the 2 times the point two nine nine. It's the random value times the probability, or the frequency, of that random value. And in long form, it would look something like this. It's a zero. And so forth. Um, we could also put each one of those lists, um, each one of those sets, into two different lists and one bar stats will do this work for us where it multiplies the 0 times the 0 0.025, the 1 times the 0.138. Um, so that would be one var stats on your TI-8384, list 1, list 2, whatever 
you've named those lists. So the second one again is always your frequency list. And if you put those two in, or if you do it this way, either one of those will give you a value of 2.6. So let's do one more. Um, let's go back to our die that we looked at early on. Given that you're going to have a red and a green die, you throw those two together, those two dice, you're going to um, come up with some value on average. What is the expected value? It's not expected that you would get snake eyes, right? That you would get a two. And it's not expected that you would get a 12 because those occur so infrequently it makes intuitive sense that you would expect the most common value would be a 7 so 7 is a value that is, is what I would expect but since we have the frequency distribution for um, rolling to die we can do the math on this. So we're going to roll two die, and the outcome is the sum. The random event is the sums either a two, three, four, five, six. Um, and this keeps on going. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there's a probability associated with each one of those. one way out of the 36 that you could get a 2, two ways out of the 36 to get a 3, and so there's a pattern here that looks like this all the way back down to the probability of getting a 12 being just as improbable as getting snake eyes, a 1 and a 1 or a 2. So it's a bit messy, but that's the math. Um, that's the probability distribution. So what we have here are two lists. I'll make. I'll say that this is list. Um, I'll say this is list three. Call that one list three, and call this one list four. And I could manually do this with a 2 times 136 plus a 3 times 236. And then the other way of doing that is just to use one of our stats, list 3, list 4. And if you do that, you'll find that the most um, common value is also the expected value. So the expected value of the random event x, um, where x is the sum, is a 7. <laughs> 